Good day, Terrarians. Purple Mentat here, bringing you episode 8 of my Terraria 1.3 Expert Mode Let's Play. Just wanted to give you a quick glimpse of what successfully mining Meteorite looks like. As last time, the only thing I showed you was how to die really fast. The Meteor Heads aren't that dangerous because they move real slow, but it's easy to underestimate them and let yourself get surrounded. And in fact, even without much in the way of extra buffs, your gold pickaxe will likely swing fast enough to keep them perma knockbacked. You just need to make sure that you don't let yourself get surrounded and swarmed. So, as promised, I'm going to keep working on mining this entire meteor. It's a little frustrating that it's in the desert, but I have been able to use the sand to my advantage in a couple of places, so that's been nice. Uh... uh there we go. You don't want to touch the meteorite. When you do, it hurts you and sets you on fire. Or sets you on fire and hurts you. Either way, bad things happen. So, don't stand on the burning lava sky rock. Okay? Okay. I'm going to keep working on this. It's going to take me a little while. I'm not going to sit here on camera the entire time, waiting for this to finish. Instead, I'm going to be a lot more interested to show you the cool stuff that we'll be able to do once we have enough of this. Because Meteorite is one of the, well, I'd call it a mid-game material, because it's one of the better things you can get. Oh, speaking of death. Got distracted by recording. Anyway, uh, as long as I'm going back to spawn, because I once again have stupidly not... Oh, actually, no, I did set up a waypoint on the other side of the jungle in the crimson. See? Yeah. Oh, well. Heal up, and off we go. All right, I'll see you once I get back over there. Set up a better waypoint somewhere in the desert. Probably a forge and an, maybe an anvil. I think I've got enough uh, lead on me to do so. So, yeah. Talk to you soon. All right, I have finally gotten most of the meteorite mined out. As long as you are under 50, that is 49 or less on the screen, meteorite, uh, meteor heads won't spawn. However... Be prepared to kill a lot of them as you go through, because I think I have four of the Meteor Head banners now. Once you get your first one, it makes life a lot easier when you're mining, so I'd almost recommend don't even bother mining at all until you get that first banner. Just stand near the edges and kill the first 50 or so. Because after I had the banner, I went from needing three or four hits with my sword to kill them to just one. That made life so much simpler. Now I'm just extracting the last bits of meteorite. And then, I wasn't able to create an anvil out here. I didn't have enough lead. So we're going to have to wait until we get back to spawn to check out what we can do with the meteorites. However, I can tell you a couple of the things I'm going to be making. I'll probably make the armor set if I have enough. I'll definitely make the meteor ham axe which is a hammer and an axe, which is fantastic. I wonder how that's going to respond with Smart Cursor, though. Hmm, we'll have to see. And I'm definitely going to be making the uh, Space Gun, which is a magic weapon that looks like a laser pistol. Uh, I don't remember it being super good, but, I mean, it's not bad. So, I'll, I'll take not bad. I don't have a whole lot of magic weapons yet. Mostly because I haven't made any of the gem staves, because I was hoping to find something nice. But, since I have Crimson instead of Corruption, that means I don't get the Vile Thorn, which is my favorite spell. Unless I make a new world and go farm it from there. Mm. Oh well. Unfortunately, until I get to some movement speed buffs, I'll probably skip the dimension, dimension hopping and skip, uh, stick with just the one world. There we go. Oh, hello. Traveling merchant came to me. Nice. Let's see what you have for me. Because I have 42 gold. Wow. That's excessive. Here, have an obelisk. I don't want it. Um, a lot of meteorite. Just going through and seeing if there's much. Oh, by the way, jungle grass seeds. Last episode, I said you needed to go underground to get them. I was wrong. You can get them above ground. All you need to do is make sure you kill a bunch of jungle grass. Uh, Gypsy Road, I have Brick Layer increases tile placement speed. Yellow Counterweight. Leopard Skin. We'll grab the brick layer. I'd like one of those. Diamond Ring. 
Vanity item. Two platinum! I'll leave that alone for now. Um, automatically paints placed objects. That sounds like it's useful. Yeah, let's grab that. Fantastic. Piggy, piggy. Piggy, take my things. Thank you, piggy. You're a good piggy. There we go. And we'll condense as much of the meteorite as possible into meteorite bars. And give me another hundred or so ingots. This was a mistake. I was hoping to save space this way, and instead I'm taking up more inventory space than ever. That's okay. We've almost reached the ocean on this side, I think. I presume we should have. Check the full screen map. Yep, we're almost there. Excellent. So, we'll be there soon. Once we are, you can join me for some more deep sea diving. We'll grab a gills and a fin potion and go see what we can get. Back soon. Wow. Like, ten steps over was the next meteorite. I'm not gonna mind this one because I d just know I just did one. No thank you. I will move on and go to the ocean instead. So... Just wanted you to see how ridiculous that was. Both of them spawned practically on top of each other. Ah, uh, whoops. And now I need Piggy Piggy. Piggy, give me a my flipper potions and my gills potions, please. And we're gonna put the meteorite stuff away in the Piggy Piggy. Right? Where did the 99 bars go? There it is. And I'm now out of space in Piggy Piggy. All right, here we go. Let's hope we can do a little bit better against the jellyfish this time, huh? And by a little better, I mean forget you guys. I'm skipping you. You all suck. Hey, an ocean chest. Is it just the one, though? Looks like it might be. What do we got? Zalus Trident. The worst of the potential drops. Lame. All it is is a spear-type weapon. And that's it. Out of all of my ocean drops in the entire map, there's a Zalus Trident. Well, I'll definitely be making some other uh, worlds to go looking for better ocean loot. Alright, Sharky, come here. We're gonna have words. You and I. Man, imagine the time you have to spend to get the shark banner. 50 sharks? Yeesh. Well, at least I got a good shark killing setup. Uh, yeah. We'll spend some time, we'll kill some sharks, get some more shark fins, make our trip to the ocean worthwhile, mine out what coral is here. But, all in all, I am disappointed. Ow. Jeez, I hate these jellyfish. Right, I'm out of inventory space. You know what? Forget it. We're done. We're out. Back home we go. I love how fast it is to get back to the spawn point. Alright, so we have fully explored the surface of the world, except for a couple of other cool things that we could find. We'll check out if we can find maybe a sky island or something, because that's just the... Stop that, Magic Mirror. Just an amazing place that we can go. Also, something I noticed, Magic Mirror is a material. That means we can craft something with it. We didn't used to be able to do that. I'm gonna check out what that is now. The cell phone displays everything. Well, that's going to take me a while to make. <laughs> displays everything. Oh, boy. Uh, so, yeah, I'm probably going to need a lot of the various... Let's see, like, the DPS me meter is definitely a material. I'm going to start investigating what it takes to combine some of these. Metal detector, stopwatch, DPS meter. Displays the most valuable ore around you. Wow. I want that. How do I get that? <laughs> And then I know that the depth meter can be combined with the gold watch and the compass. I don't have the compass yet, though. I don't remember how you make that. 
And that gets you the GPS to show your position and tell time. I'll have to double check the recipe on the compass if it's something that I can craft or not. Anyway, uh, we got the stopwatch. Are you a material? No. Are you? Yes, the violent life form analyzer. Can be combined with the radar to detect enemies around you and the tally counter. How many monsters have been killed? And that gets the RE key 3000. Nice. And of course, the climbing claws can be combined with the shoe spikes to get you the tiger climbing gear, which will allow you to literally just climb up walls instead of sliding down them. Though, so, whoops, give me those. Give me that back. There we go. The time, uh, the tiger climbing claws are some of my favorite items because even without the, uh, um, yeah, what's it called? The freaking thing that I grabbed the wall with. Hey, grappling hook, that's it. I can still slide down the wall and jump up the walls. It's pretty nice. All right, I'm going to set out to do some more mining underground. See if I can't get my hands on maybe some more gold. Find a couple of more heart crystals. And once I do, then we'll be able to do some regression. I'm also going to take this gravity potion that I have. I only have the one. And I'm going to try to find myself a sky island with it. It's not going to be easy. And I only have the one to work with at the moment. So I need to find more. Uh, I need to find the sky island to be able to make more. But hopefully the uh, depth meter will be a big help in that. Once I'm ready to go exploring again, well, I'll cut back in. See you soon. All right, now that we're done playing inventory management with Purple Mentat, we're gonna actually get to craft some of the cool meteor gear that I have been waiting on. Now I've got 10 amethyst here that I'm gonna be using with the meteorite to make a purple phase blade. Yes, that's right. It's basically a lightsaber. It even sounds like one. The one downside is it's just not as good as what I already have. It does slightly more damage, but the knockback is a lot worse and it doesn't auto attack. So unfortunately it gets stowed for now, but you'll notice that this is a material. And if I go check the guide and tell him, hey, check out this purple phase blade I got. What can I do with it? I'll be able to make the purple phase saber almost as soon as I get into hard mode. I'll just need 50 crystal shards. And that's very cheap. So the phase saber is a great entry into hard mode. And in fact, as far as I remember, also manages quite a long time. As far as like how good it is. I think you need to get up to like Excalibur to outdo it. We're definitely going to make the Meteor Ham Axe, which is 100% axe and 60% hammer power, which will replace both our Zealous Lead Hammer and our Lead Axe. And we'll cut things down a lot faster than either. No bonus on it this time. The Space Gun, cool magic weapon, no bonus on that either. And then we're going to make the Meteor Armor, which is going to be more defense than the magic armor and is going to provide quite a bit of increased magic damage. So let's get uh, the silver armor equipped. I mean, unequipped in the meteor armor equipped. That gives us gets us up to 24 defense where before what we were we were at, we were at 21. So that's a three defense boost. And we're going to be doing uh, what's that? 7, 14, 21 percent more ma uh, magic damage. And the space gun is mana free. So now we have an infinitely firing, auto firing, rather quick laser pistol. Yep, I can work with that. The only downside to this is I do not believe it has any piercing ability to it at all. Let's see what's in the shop. Ooh, there's a gi. I haven't seen this one before. Increased damage and critical strike chance, increased melee and movement speed. Well, I'm going to grab it because I want to have most of the armor, if at all possible. So this does pretty much outdate the Murderous Undertaker. It's no longer useful. It doesn't have the speed or the damage of the space gun, and it uses ammunition. So goodbye, Murderous Undertaker. And goodbye, Lead Axe. Goodbye, Zealous Lead Hammer. All right, 
time for me to go underground, do a lot of mining around. Oh, I have quite a bit of meteorite left over. That's good. I'm going to want it later to make the really cool hard mode stuff that I can't quite get access to yet. And we'll put the gear away. The new cool stuff that I have. I'm going to save the silver later on when I actually start building a castle. I'll put together a whole hall of armor to show off all of the different armor sets. Awesome. All right, folks. I will return when it's time to do something a little more interesting than bounce around in caves that you've already seen all the threats of. Dear YouTubians, jackpot. Gold chest. Let's see what it has for us. Bleeding band of regeneration. Nice. Regenerating is always nice, and you'll notice that's a material. It is upgradable. And another gravitation potion. That's fantastic. Well, that makes my day. Even if I don't find any heart crystals on this particular run, I'm pretty happy with what I found already. So, yay. Excellent. Just had to share that with you. Wasn't going to open a chest without you folks here. So, off I go for more exploring. Found a minecart track. I was following it along. Got myself another life crystal. Yay! Almost there now, folks. Just a couple more. So riding around on this minecart is probably one of the most fun ways to explore. And you can just use your mount button, which in, in my case says, I believe, Q? No? R? Yeah, R gets you off. Or you can use the um, grappling hook to get down. Either way, not a problem. All right, back soon. Hey folks, cool new thing that I just found on my way down. You can see a heart over there. We'll get that in a second. Uh, well, not exactly new, but I was working on extending my tunnel downward, my little elevator, which will eventually reach bottom. Found myself another gold chest with a cloud in the bottle. Winning! That is one of the best items in the game. This is basically... It's awesome. It's just awesome. That's good enough to give up for defense, isn't it? Um, no. No, it's not. But it's probably good enough to give up that extra damage. Yeah. Definitely. Double jump, babies. Ha <laughs> ha! Also, if I play it right, almost impossible to um, die of fall damage. That other gold chest over there, I already got exploring around. Now, the really cool part about this heart over here, here it's not one, but two hearts right next to each other. Now, you don't find double hearts very often, especially not in a medium world where, well, I mean, the number of hearts in, in a world is based on the number of players. Now, I'm not going to use the hearts just now, because as soon as I break 200 hit points, I'm likely to have a boss start spawning. So we'll just start gathering the life crystals for the time being, and I'm going to work on continuing the uh, elevator all the way down to the bottom. Elevator being a open shaft that goes all the way to the bottom of the world where the underworld is. Oh, man. Um, that's a lot of water to go through. I don't really know how to handle that gracefully. I'll have to do some research. But, uh, yeah. This, this, this is gonna be fun. Once I figure out how I'm gonna handle that, I'll certainly let you folks know. Alright. Back to the grind. Alright, folks. Here's the plan. I'm gonna use a gills potion. Get down in there. And we're going to do some blocking off so that the three block area that I need is fairly segregated from the rest of the water. And then we're going to start digging slowly down oops, until we have the rest of the way open all the way to the underworld. Because you can go ahead and dump as much water as you want down there, it'll just disappear. This is a little bit more water than is ideal, but that's all right. So now it's just a matter of finding where the next through bit. Ow, 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 ow. Freaking granite golems. Elementals, I mean. Uh, 
Yep. I hate things that can go all the way through. All right. I'm going to uh, come back down, get rid of the water on the side there where you saw that open cavern. And, uh, yeah. We'll continue on with this briefly. Well, I really wish I had been, uh, recording that bit, but unfortunately my reaction was kill first, record later. Just killed a nymph and got something really cool. The guarding metal detector. Displays the most valuable ore around you. No, uh, there's lead detected nearby. That is something that I feel confident ignoring. I wonder what the exact range on that thing is, but I'm also not too terribly worried about testing it at the moment. It's something that can happen later. More silt, more mining. Had to go through a granite biome, and when I did, I found myself another heart. I figure at this point I've gathered that first 200 hit points worth of hearts. Showing each individual heart on the way is probably not the highest priority, but please let me know in the comments below if you disagree. I'm going to continue working my way down. I'm about 1,200 down now, and reports say that the underworld begins somewhere around 2,000. So, we've got a ways to go yet. Any case, once something else exciting happens, we'll be back. I'm really looking forward to getting past this initial grind phase and into the part where I start killing bosses. But I like to take my time, and I like to do things bit by bit and rather carefully, so I don't mind going through the slow way for now. What the heck? Got that. <laughs> Alright, back soon, folks. Oh, hey, check this out. The uh, treasure detector, the uh, metal detector, is telling me there's a life crystal nearby. So I'm going to use this spelunker potion I found. Oh, man, it, it's not even showing up on my screen. It tells me life crystal detected nearby, but I can't actually see it. Silver, life crystal. Ah, there it is. There it is, down there. Excellent. Thank you, Spelunker Potion. Between the metal detector and the Spelunker Potion, I should be able to find a lot of these. And if I'm very, very lucky, or very, very patient, I can get myself to 400 hit points before I even have to deal with the first boss. I'm not sure if I'm willing to go that grindtastic, but uh, maybe I am. We'll just have to wait and see. In any case, I'm going to go over there and get that uh, life crystal. I just wanted to share with you, I've never played with the metal detector before. I've never had one in the past. I think it's new-ish. So I'm pretty happy with it. And yeah, that's exciting. Now I've got a better way to find those things. Because I'm terrible at finding life crystals. I usually have no luck at all getting my hands on these things. And spend ages trying to get myself to max hit points. And then as soon as I do, then they start showing up left and right. Because of course, why wouldn't they? Bad granite elemental. Die, 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 die. Oh, hey, you know, ooh, I just took all of them. Shine, Night Owl, Featherfall, Spelunker. Okay, we're good. That's not, not so bad. There's lead detected nearby. I care not. Still, that was pretty cool. I hope you folks agree. Silver detected nearby? It considers silver better than the amethyst. I disagree, but I understand where it's coming from. Maybe if it was, like... Uh, diamond, it would consider that better than the silver. Anyway, if I come up with any n more cool treasures, I will be certain to come back and show them off. Uh, for now, though, it's time to uh, finish making my way down to the underworld, or at least continue attempting to. Hey, as I was going through, my creature detector detected a webbed stylist. So I popped a hunter potion, and now I can see that there is a webbed stylist right over there. That looks like an NPC I can save. I'm not certain of that, but I'm willing to bet. So I'm going to mine my way over to her and free her from the bounds of the webbing. If I'm really, really lucky, then she'll be in the middle of a spider biome and life will be good. As you can see, I'm about 1600 down at this point. And, well, I mean, things are going pretty well. I'm up to five life crystals. So instead of uh, having to face the eye at 200, I'll be at 280 which is awesome. And is also another good thing because I've already broken a couple of the orbs, so probably as soon as I pop over 200 hit points, I'm going to have to start dealing with goblin invasions. So I'm probably going to want to do some fortifying and base building before I really get into the boss killing because I want to make sure that my base is set up such that I can come to a nice defensible point, kill a ton of goblins when they do invade, and keep my NPCs safe all at the same time. 
And to me, that probably means Sky Castle. Yes, yes, it is. It's a spider biome. All right, folks, we're going to finish out this episode by exploring the spider biome because this place is awesome. Jeepers creepers. Stumble into a spider cavern. If I'm really, really ultra lucky, like more lucky than I deserve to be. Hello. Don't go exploring with scissors, they said. You won't get trapped in a spider's web, they said. Ah, so this will let me change my hairstyle, my face, and does a couple of other things. I'll back to rinse your color out in 25 minutes. Nice. And I can buy mana hair dye, depth hair dye, and hair dye remover. Well, we'll have to check those out some other time. Now, she should, now that I have found her, be on my list. Yep, Bia the stylist. Once I'm off screen, she will make her way back to home and safety. She will take up residence in... Oh. Is that it? Is that the whole spider biome? That's it? I've been robbed. Oh, wait, nope, there's more above. Okay, good. Whew. I got a little uh, upset for a moment there. Oh, not the ham axe, the pickaxe, you derpity derp. Like, there weren't even, even any spiders in the spider cavern. But no, there's more spi- Maybe there's not a lot more spider cavern. Hang on. Well, you see, there's a really cool, uh, grappling hook you can get in the spider biome that ha that can shoot out eight hooks at the same time and is all web-covered and stuff. But I don't think I'm gonna get one because I don't even see a single spider on screen. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. At least I can get this silver. All right, so I think that's that. Yeah, we've about reached wrapping up time, so we're going to call it a day. Thanks very much for joining me, folks. Hope you've enjoyed this episode with us adventuring around and doing all kinds of weird stuff and slowly building the mineshaft. I'll pick up with uh, the next episode, finishing up this mineshaft and seeing what other cool stuff I can find in my explorations of the underground. And then we'll likely start doing some boss prep and some base building to fortify the base against goblin invasions and set up a nice safe area for me to fight things like the King Slime and the Eye of Cthulhu. I don't know if my preparations I remember are going to be sufficient because we're, well, we are in... Ooh, look at that. That background means we're very close. Very, very close. Excellent. Um... I don't know if the preparations I remember are going to be adequate as we are in expert mode now, but we'll certainly see. Ooh, look, spiders. Maybe I'm lucky. No. Darn it. Ooh, more spiders over there. Maybe I can get lucky yet. Hang on. There's a wall creeper. We're going to kill the wall creeper. And bomb our way through this wall to get over to the other spot. Hang on. Don't go yet, folks. We're going to find out what's over there, but we've got a good bit of stone to get through before we're there. This is why I've been saving all of my bombs. For when I want to go through something fast, I can. Also, what the heck is a bunny doing all the way down here? Wow. Oh, hey! Lost Girl just showed up on my screen. What is the Lost Girl? Oh, we'll check that in a moment. Alright, so no spider creeper. Or no, spi no uh, spider chests, no cool stuff. Alright. Let's go see about that lost girl, though. Where'd she go? Oh no, the, the, the hunter potion ran out. That's okay, easy fix. Summon my piggy piggy. Wow. And grab another hunter potion. Gonna have to keep a few of these on hand just for this. Right here. I thought that, like, I was expecting a dryad, but... A nymph, I mean. Not a lost... Like, I thought that uh, it was the nymph, not the lost girl. Are they, are they two related? Am I about to be attacked? I'm about to be attacked, aren't I? Alright, well, let's go get attacked, and then we can kill it and take its stuff. Hi, lost girl. How are you? Yep, oh, yep, it's a nymph. Lasers from space! That was satisfying. Oh, look, another metal detector. Well, I'll take it. I mean, this one doesn't have any stats on it, but who cares? That was cool. <laughs> die, creeper, die. There we go. All right, I'm a little sad that we don't have uh, 
dead bunny, uh, that we don't have the really cool grappling hook that I remember. Wow, the stylist with the scissors is actually kind of terrifying. It just, she just eviscerated that bat. Fantastic. Anyway, until next time, folks, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, leave that thumbs up and tell me what I did right. And if you haven't, leave that thumbs down and tell me what I did wrong so that next time I can do better. And I'll see you next time.